the lighter the shade of the amethyst the lighter the shades of the amethyst ray of vision helps us to see into our souls and ourselves to know thyself to get with oneself to see oneself to know oneself to be oneself is a wonderful light of the recognition of the soul the spirit and the light amethyst crystal can be a tremendous help to feel that power of your spirit and that warrior that's inside you and how your soul needs to be relaxed and how your soul needs to do work and how your soul needs to be helped your soul it needs a compass your soul needs to be led and your soul needs to be fed now the word fed is very very important when it comes to your soul because if you do not feed your soul guess what there's no eternal life there's no afterlife so it's a tremendous help if you can see yourself as you actually are. And this lighter amethyst actually helps to see you right now. Now the darker shades of amethyst, which are the ones from Brazil and Uruguay and places like that that are tremendously expensive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Um, those are for artistic endeavors in which original results need to be created using the tools and methods of the previous times. Amethyst is often used as the artist's store. I'm an artist, I paint, I do clay, I do molds, I do, I do woodwork. <laughs> Is there anything in art that I do not do? No, because I was born in the lakes of Lake Superior, the biggest freshwater lake in the world, and there was so much sand, so much rock, so much agate, so much crystal, so much beautiful things. I grew up beside Copper Core Mine. There was a diamond mine not too far from me, and there was another silver mine. So I grew up with gracious things in the earth in Northern Ontario, but I was born in Southern Ontario, but to make a long story short, amethyst is often used as the artist stone, the composer stone, which is great for me because I'm in music, and the inventor stone because I am an inventor. The poet stone because I am a poet and I'm also a rapper and I'm also a storyteller and I'm also a child's entertainer. So, and the painter stone, and I paint. I told you I just paint. So amethyst brings the natural power of the creativity to us. It helps us visualize, create, and invent. Amethyst stimulates your creativity. So when you need to be inspired to be able to create an artistic way, use amethyst crystals to focus and energize your creativity. Now, if you actually want to transform the highlights of one's life this a more desirable higher state the higher consciousness of oneself to tap into oneself to know oneself then you need pure quartz white crystal there's crystals used for everything but color of energy and the zodiac and the goddess and the healing and the meditation and all of this stuff you are what you think you are you are what you breathe. You are what you know. You are what you sow. You are your own inventive god or goddess. Now here's a darker amethyst. It's not as dark as some of the ones I have, but it, it's a little darker, so it's a little more on the creative side that I can use. And as you can see, I am creating nonstop, and I'm really, really proud of it. So signing off right now with one of the most creative women on earth, because I dabble in everything, because you know what? 
if I don't dabble in everything, who's going to dabble in everything? And the Buddha helps me. The Buddha helps me dabble in what I want to dabble in. Because if you see the crown of the Buddha, look at the little dabblers. I love you, Buddha. I love you, Buddha. I love you, Buddha. I love you so much, Buddha. Thank you so much, Buddha. You're just tall and gorgeous and wonderful, Buddha. Having a beautiful Buddha day with my beautiful little lovely Buddha.